Does it feel okay, good to be one? Yeah, Piers. Yeah, Harry. I we... don't even know what I've done, Kate, really. <laughs> <laughs> You've entertained it's, us all. It's not like winning a so football match brilliant. or something. I think, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> well, Harry, let's start from the beginning. Oh, I because know, you I didn't just... tell you didn't even tell your family. Yeah. Like Jamie, your son, had no idea you were doing this. When you got offered the chance to go in there, no. why did you do it? What were you thinking? Well, the grandkids drove me mad. They said, look, Pop, you could please, Pop, Pop, do it, do it, do it. Sandra said, oh, they're so upset you're not going to do this show. I went, Sandra, I can't, three weeks sitting, you know. But I'll be honest, Piers, I'm not telling you, I've never, ever seen one minute of the show. I thought there'd be a caravan behind the, the camp where you all sit round the log, make out you're hungry. They go, <laughs> OK, cut, you go behind there, have a nice cup of tea or bacon sandwich... And then they go, OK, everybody, you'll sit on the logs again, making out you're hungry. But I couldn't find the caravan anywhere. I had it was, what you see is what you get. I mean, I didn't... I had four days without eating. I've done, I've done a stone, actually. We got weighed and I've actually lost one stone. I thought I might have done a bit more, but... Uh, <laughs> It's not easy, believe you me. It yeah, was hard. Harry, I mean, you look, you've, you've been a football manager, which is a very tough gig for anybody. Um, yeah. What's the reality of being in that jungle for three weeks? How tough did you find it physically and mentally? It was tough physically, honestly. I mean, and not only that, when I looked round, the, you know, I looked at my campmates after about two days and they were talking about music and about great shows, the theatre. I never had a clue what they were talking about. I'm suddenly, I said, they were all talking about what they listened to in the morning. And I said, oh, I have talk sport on. And they looked at me and not one of them had ever heard of talk sport. <laughs> and I'm not exaggerating. I said, Har I started talking about Harry Kane and none of them had ever heard. They didn't know. I think James might have heard of Harry Kane, but didn't know a lot about him. Nick knew, had heard of him. The rest, the other, the other eight or nine never even knew who he was. I mean, so I thought, I'm definitely going to struggle here. Was it in a way quite liberating it, and, and quite in interesting to have the opportunity to be out of the intense world of football and be with people that just knew you as, as Harry, not as yeah. a legend, in a way? It was, Kate, it was, yeah, it was a completely new world for me. And uh, I must admit, it was, it was, some of the days were, were very long and hard. I mean, we had, you get up in the morning about five o'clock, quarter five, we had a shower and the, the, off the water that was running down off the rocks. I mean, it was freezing cold, you know. Um, it, the sleeping was horrendous. But everybody in there was great. There wasn't one person that I could ever say one bad word about. Every one of them, we just all got on fantastic and that was what made it for me. Now, Harry, um, Harry Tottenham, obviously, when you were the manager there, never won any big trophies. It must have been a weird feeling for you to actually be declared king and actually win something important. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, Piers. I've heard that you beat Tottenham the other day. Come on. <laughs> I've seen the result when I got out. He's got himself Four two. up to speed. I, I have seen it. I thought Piers would be happy. Oh, I was happy. I was happy. Brilliant. I, I think one of the reasons you won, Harry, and I, is the fact that... Your, and I knew this because I came down to your beautiful home uh, on Sandbanks and spent some time with you for a documentary with, with Sandra, your wife, and I could see then that you just had this yeah. extraordinarily brilliant marriage with this woman you completely love and she completely loves yeah. you. So I knew when I saw you on the show, this wasn't fake, this wasn't for the cameras, it wasn't anything. You genuinely no, have no, no, a remarkable like. love affair with your wife, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I mean, we're 54 years, Piers. We've been, you know, four years we were going out since we were just, we were only just, just 17 when we started going out. And we've never been apart since, you know, we just, I absolutely, I don't care what people think. I love her like mad. She's my life. And we love you for speaking out because so, you don't uh, hear people talking like that, really, in a, in a show in that way, uh, so emotionally. I think everybody loved you more for speaking out. Now, one thing is, is that apparently the first time you ever washed up was when Nick Knowles showed you how. So are you now <laughs> going to do more around the house or is Sandra quite happy with the way things are? No, I think she's OK with me. She keeps shouting out, Son, the telly's gone off. <laughs> Son, what's... <laughs> I, I, she don't mind. She's unbelievable. But listen, <laughs> I do know one thing. I mean, Piers knows Sandra. And Jamie always says to me, Dad, 
how did you pull her? <laughs> <laughs> he said, you were punched so far above your weight, it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. She's, oh. a, she's a fabulous lady, Harry, but you're a great guy too. Tell us, you know, for all the yeah. people out there who maybe have struggled to find the kind of love that you guys have, what do you think the secret is, actually, to a happy marriage? I don't know. We just get on so well together. I just love being with her every day, you know. she's We, we just love it being together and being in each other's company. We, we very rare. You couldn't have a row with Sandra if you tried, you know. Mm. If you got upset about it, look at you, calm down, you know, and then, you know, and you couldn't, you, it's just, she's so placid and just so, so easy going and, you know. The only threat I don't we know, saw. I've been very lucky, Piers, that's for sure. The only threat we saw to your marriage was your burgeoning romance with Noel Edmonds. Are you going to make a show together? Oh, unbelievable. Noel came, Noel came in and suddenly I'd never met, really knew Noel, obviously I knew what he was very famous from the TV days, you know, and everything. But suddenly we're sharing this, we're in a bed next to each other and I got cramp on the first night. I was in agony. I, uh, I didn't know, I was screaming in agony. Next thing, he's got his head under the bedclothes, massaging my <laughs> thigh, where I've got the back of my leg where I've got the cramp. <laughs> and then I got it in the other leg. I think he thought I was having a wind-up. <laughs> I think he just thought I wanted him to massage my legs. Oh, but we, a... we laughed ourselves to sleep, we really did. And talking of burgeoning romances, Emily Attack, your runner-up, of course, made no secret of having her eye on Jamie. Do you think you might, you know, get them together, put oh, in a good word? What are you going to do about yes. that? Yes. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. When I saw her in the jungle, I thought, no chance. But I've seen her today when she scrubbed up and she <laughs> looks all right, I'm telling you. She looks very useful. <laughs> she Harry. looks good, I think, yeah. But when so I saw her in the jungle, I thought, no, you ain't got a prayer. Oh, <laughs> Harry! <laughs> no, Emily's been so pleased that everyone's Emily's, loved Emily's, her with em her freckles and all natural. And you're saying she's got to get the slap back on. <laughs> no, today when she scrubbed, she looked fantastic. I, thought, okay. I went, who are you? She went, I was in the jungle with you. I went, I haven't seen you before. <laughs> well, we played that. But she was brilliant. She was great. Wow. Harry, do you, do you feel like you're a breath of politically incorrect fresh air just when this country needs it? Well, I don't know, Piers. As I say, I don't even know what I've done, Piers, really, except I went in there, took the mickey out myself, laughed at myself, laughed with everybody else, and, you know, people either they think, what an idiot, or, you know, I don't know what people think, but I got on with it and I had a great time. I really did, and, you know, it's why not? You've got to... You've got to do things in your life and I think the secret, uh, every day Harry, now is, is important to I, us. I think the secret for you uh, was authenticity. You know, I've known you a very long time, interviewed you many times and, you know, met yeah. you at various events and so on. Yeah. You were just completely the Harry Redknapp that I've always known. You didn't try and be anyone you're not. You were who you were. And I think you no. were just authentic. People no. just actually got to know the real you and they liked you. Yeah. 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 Oh, let's... That's good, but that is the real me, Piers. As I say, I didn't even... I even forgot the cameras are on after time, you know. Mm. Sandra said to me, you did not swear a lot, you know. <laughs> I said, well, them girls swore more than me. <laughs> I mean, I told her about one of the things they were, they were saying in the morning. She went, no, they don't say... I mean, I couldn't even repeat on telly when they, what they, done when they went down to Please the creek don't. to have a wash. Yeah. You've become a bit of a sex symbol, uh, I can't Harry. even repeat it. Harry, you've become a bit of a sex symbol. Have I you, don't you, think so, Piers. Are, are, you, are you ready to deal with your new army of young female fans? Uh, I don't think so. If they are, they need to go to Specsavers, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> your grandkids talked you into going, and one of the really sweet things was uh, Jamie posting all the pictures of the boys jumping up and down and celebrating. It was lovely to see yeah. when you won. Um, have you had a chance to all speak the kids to them? It. Okay. No, I'm going to ring them now. And Jamie's two boys and, and Mark, my, our other son, he's got five kiddies. They enjoyed it. Molly, our granddaughter, the oldest one, is here. So she's had a great time in Australia. So it's been, it's been real fun, you know. I, I did it, oh. honestly, I did it for them, for them to... Uh, they wanted me to do it, so they'll be going, oh, pop, pop, you know, don't be scared of, of, uh, of Kev at the... Uh, 
you know, who gives you out the, the prizes when you win. He's a bit scary. Don't be scared of him, you know. And <laughs> so uh, it's been great. I've enjoyed it. You're the coolest. How are you, you going to celebrate country? with your? Well, as I said earlier, I, I, with, with your wife Sandra, Harry. What are you going to do? Um, You're going to take Sandra away, whisk her away somewhere. Go to the cinema. Yeah, yeah. Well, tonight we're going to uh, we've got a, um, a like a little party for everybody. You know, who was on the. In the camp, I was no different to the rest of them. We was all together. Somehow, I've ended up, as I say, I don't know how, what I've done, but I've ended up with like the king of the jungle, whatever I am. But uh, <laughs> it was everybody in there was was a winner, in my opinion. They were all great. And so, Harry, I've got to ask you this: fun. but you, you've had, you've had to spend three weeks in in the company of some appalling creatures and lizards and revolting uh, animals yeah. and things that you would travel normally continents to avoid. How did that compare to the Tottenham dressing room? <laughs> oh, don't you a murder? Because you've won a game, you're getting carried away. You're still, you're still. Tottenham are still above you, Piers. Come on, temporarily. I've looked at the Harry. league table today. <laughs> North London is red, as you've always known in your heart. Temporarily, come on. Uh, you I'll tell, like you what, the, I'll you tell you what hasn't changed, Harry, tell you at what, all. I'll tell, you, tell you what hasn't changed. Brexit is still a complete mess. It was before you went in, and nothing's changed. Yeah. No, I've got to be honest, Piers, a few of my mates have lost a few quid. I think they all had their money on me being the first one thrown out. <laughs> <laughs> they said, you won't last, you won't last, they said, you won't last a week. Now, you didn't they like said, the you food. like your family, the football, the racing. Now, you didn't the like food. the food much, Kate, the did food you, in horrendous. the jungle? I think we've got one of your favourite Kate, tweets the there, a bit of a jam roly-poly. That's what you've been craving. Have you got your hands on jam one Jam roly-poly. <laughs> well, yeah, me and Sandra are going to open a jam roly poly. Look at this, look. <laughs> me and Sandra are going to open a jam roly poly stall. I think that might be a Swiss roll. Sandra's <laughs> baking at the moment. Fantastic. <laughs> Is it a Swiss roll? Right. I <laughs> Sandra's, Sandra's actually starting on the. She's baking jam roly poly puddings, and we're going to open a stall in the market on Saturday afternoon <laughs> doing. Jam roly polies. <laughs> you would be, you would be a brilliant market trader. Can you imagine Perfect. Harry's roly polies in your car? Oh, don't, <laughs> I know. Time for a pad. Roll uh, up, Harry. roll up. Get your roly polies. <laughs>